shine bright like a diamond. Find light in the beautiful sea. I choose to be happy. You and I, you and I, we're like diamonds in the sky. Oh, you're a shooting star, I see. A vision of beauty, beauty. When you're near me, near me, I'm alive. We're like diamonds in the sky. I knew that we'd be someone right away. to childhood trauma. Hello, my name is Jennifer H. And I'm going to take you on a bit of my journey. I hope you enjoy the ride. Who are you? Do you know who you are? Are you the same one I saw last week that said she was too weak to be the feet? Come sit for a minute. And let's talk for a while. I want to figure out who's still your smile. Back down the morning lane. Hey, baby. How you doing? How much I cost, you couldn't even afford. But come back around. I might get bored. Laugh and sit while I'm out on the street. Pocket full of rocks in my chest for the money. Sun down, sun up. That's the plan. I walk through the door, I'm looking for King, the man that I love who's supposed to love me. I hear voices in the back, and it was clear to me that that was the man that was supposed to love me. I want what she has, and I want it all. As he walks through the front, it was clear to see that I was the she that he wanted to see. Tears in my eyes, and I said, Really, King, is that what you want? Everything? Overwhelmed by hurt that I felt before, I shook my head, walking back to the door. Looked him dead in his eyes, and I said, Can't you see? If I give you everything, I leave with nothing. And that can't be. Because I got kids at home waiting on me. Hello? Nico, where the hell are you? I'm on my way home. I'm alive. What's up? This morning when I took Jewel Marie to school, she cried all the way to the door. She wanted to know why her mama didn't love her no more. Overwhelmed. Broken heart and confused. What was I to do? I swallowed my pride. And I told King goodbye. To the left, to the left, everything you want in the box to the left. <clears throat> I love you, Mommy. I love you more. I love you more than life. And that I adore. I want you to know, <coughs> no matter how far I go, how far or how close, how special you are, my shining star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. I could talk about the rapes, being molested, broken and abused, but why waste my breath on the things that make me confused? Today I want to talk about being the light in the dark, 
and not so much about the things that broke my heart. Today I stand for something, so I won't fall for just anything. When my kids see me, they consider me blessed. Because through all my trial and error, I made it through my mess. I never would have made it. I never could have made it. Black is my eyes and my soul. The darkness has followed me whole, but I don't even 
cry anymore. I was raped at 3, 16, and 24, raped and beaten every day at 26. Black and blue, broken bones, with broken hope that I don't even cry anymore. Begging to come to home to a father that I don't even know anymore. Beg to find a home with a mother that went to the beds at four. I'm begging, please, he's gonna kill me. I'm not gonna survive. He ended up killing me three times. Once I even choked on my own blood, cried made it worse, made the punches come more, but I took it like a champ that I didn't even cry. When I buried my children and tears started to appear, I turned to that black, that dragon to make those tears disappear. One day I looked in the mirror, I was going on my fourth OD. I looked at the shallow, the hollow shell that I came to be. For the first time I cried and cried. I let myself feel, I got permission to heal. I casted out the darkness and now I shine bright. I'm beautifully insane, I'm a walking ball of sunshine. circumstances that have led me here, Rosalina was here with arms wide open. And for that, I want to say thank you. It's called Dear Life. Dear Life and all your unforeseen circumstances, thank you for all the failures that have flourished into blooming flowers. The twists and turns that have created themselves into a maze, this lost embellishment of discouragement. The walls around it have begun to dissipate, and the field is within sight. I slowly follow the breadcrumbs left in front of me, gathering them along, unknowing that these crumbs were leading me to an array of astonishing promises. The essence of hope permeates my current existence. The aroma of faith illuminates the provisional embellishment of the astounding sun. My broken breadcrumbs, my broken pieces of an unknown puzzle lead me to a fort, and as I lift my eyes, I see my love holding out his nail-scarred hands, waiting to allow him to lead the way. Dear life, thank you for catching me as I fall into your loving, unconditional arms. Bitterness. 
in her that she is scared to face the truth about herself. It wasn't until four weeks ago that she just got real. The court offered me 25 years abs. My life, my life flashed before my eyes. I knew I messed up in life. Been down six times, but someone who has been through what I've been through needs real help. One time a rehab doesn't do. I know I finally had it. I knew I finally had enough of the of what brings me to relapse. The day that my unborn child father put his hands on me was the day I had enough. No longer was I going to allow another man to abuse me mentally, sexually, emotionally, or physically. That man turned me into something I never wanted to be. I became heartless, cold, and angry at the world and at the system. I did things intentionally to get arrested so I would be safe and I wouldn't lose another child. But I never meant to do anything that would cost me 25 years. I just wanted help. I kited to Rosalana because I knew that they, what they had to offer. They did counseling in different ways. They do, they do hear my pain and guide me through what I need. Trauma is an intense class that makes me stronger. Parenting builds my skills where it needs to be built. Affirmation Wednesday helps me build myself and let me know I am somebody. Creative class is a coping skill for me because it released the troubles I went through that day. The homework I'm given it builds my knowledge that I lost in the streets. Without Rizalana, I wouldn't be as strong as I am today. They help me let go of what I need to let go, and no longer will I be my let my past bring me down. As Maya, Maya Angelou once said, I am a phenomenal, phenomenal woman, a phenomenal woman. That, that's me. Thank you. Thank you, Rosalana, for teaching me that the past is over and done. It has gone back to nothingness for, for where it came. I am free. I have no sense of, I have a sense of pride and self-worth. I am confident in my abilities to love and support myself. I have learned that I am capable of positive growth and change. I am strong. I am united with all of life. I am one with the universe power and intelligence. Divine wisdom leads me and guides me in every step of the way. I am safe and secure as I move forward to the highest good. I do this with ease and joy. I am, de I am deeply grateful for what I have and what I don't have. I am blessed in every way thanks to Rosalana and the works of God.
for you so they really understand what you just said. This woman made up a song and she just poof, went to prison this morning. And I came in the pod at 8.45 and I said, who wants to sing her song? And they said, we do. And then they, A, they're too young to know the Kiss song that it was kind of written about. <laughs> so they were in there trying to just listen to the words and read it and sing it. So they have had literally an hour and 10 minutes to this whole time. But it's a beautiful song that she wrote and they wanted to honor her and sing it. So anyway, kudos to them. Left you lost your calling. I'm living life without you now. My recovery program is working. There's a lot of where I'm now. I have a higher power and I'm also over you. It's my sponsor I'll be calling and she's in recovery too. She's in recovery too. Life with you was lonely. I lost my house, I have no home. My addiction was something else. But I'm alive, I'm getting strong. Wrestles on the same case tower. They gave me hope of life anew. Meant you can stop your calling. Oh, meant I don't need you. Meant I don't need you. I'm no longer lonely, and I know I'll be alright. Reza Lama has helped me, my future looks so bright. When I first 
got here? I made a stupid decision to lie about borrowing the community crayons. I said I didn't have them simply because the girl looking for them had been bullying me. Well, it shaked out the next day, exposed my lie, and I was now labeled a thief. I came to Miss Leslie regrettably with what I did on purpose and then what had exponentially backfired on accident. I told her I needed to leave the program for my bad choice and for my own safety and sanity. <laughs> um, she encouraged me to stay. She talked to the pod about forgiveness and judgment. Sorry. She told them what a wonderful thing it was that I came and admitted what I had done and didn't try to defend or deny. She told the pod I was the type of woman I thought I was here for. Then in front of everyone, she asked me to stay. And that is when the real hard work began. Because when everyone you're forced to live with unanimously hates you, it inevitably changes a person. It without a doubt changed me. I agree that I've come a long way. I've worked hard and I did all I could to find out how to not let the opinions and and actions and words of others dictate my behavior, like I realized I've done my whole life. I took every class, every suggestion, every instruction, and I applied them with passion. They gave me the tools and ability to soul search, to console my heart, to forgive my past, and even have hope for my future. And hope is a really hard word for me. There's a saying I like about being hard to love. It talks about having missing pieces and sharp edges. But I can tell you that what they've helped me put back together is stronger than ever. So if I can testify to one thing, I know for sure Rezalana changes lives for the better. It has changed me forever. And now I'd like to read the first and only poem I've ever written, which is actually done in this program in the creative writing class they offer. Um, and I want to thank Maddie and Sandra and all the friends that helped bring my poem to life with this beautiful piece of art. It's called She Is Me. <clears throat> when you look in the mirror, who do you see? Do you judge or criticize rather than realize your true beauty? Can you admire all the courage and strength? and not just picking apart the mistakes and pain from the past? Can you see you're fabulous and feel proud and not be ashamed or embarrassed of the scars that will forever last? Don't be like me and waste so much time thinking you need to change everything. Look again and see that you are a resilient anomaly. You're a survivor who's extraordinarily unique Look again, even if you can't believe. Feel fabulous and proud. Admire the courage and strength. Look again and again, because there's a phenomenal woman in that mirror to see. You are that woman. We are that woman. She is me. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. 
for that I thought I can't see you. If you seek me with all of your heart, you will find me. Nobody comforts me when I'm in trouble. I am the Father who comforts all in your trouble. So my heart is broken. When you are broken, I am close to you. But God, I say you quickly and I'm happy. One day, I will wipe away all your tears from your eyes. Why do you love me when I continue to disappoint? I am your father, and I love you even as I love my son. But you are not my father. I am father, and I will always be father. But I'm confused. I thought Jesus was your only child. My question is to you, Melanie, is will you be my child? Yes, I can do all things to Christ that strengthens me. Now, my question to you, when you accept the power to make a change, we are not alone and we will never be alone. Continue this, another at 15 and 17. 
See, daddy was not the issue my mommy was. Living to please the woman I lost, learned she was a liar and a fraud. Stepdad he became when she explained my dad is really a man in North Carolina, not the man I loved. Said I'd go to meet a stranger. She called my dad. Two weeks became two years, and the abuse began. Dr. Field says, find the defining moment. Children, emulate their same-sex parent. How is that working for you? Defined by the realization that my mother was a liar, broke in self-image when mockery was made as I, in great fear, revealed the fact that her brother had stolen my virtue. Premature for sex and relationships, that's how it worked for me. Searching for escape and searching for love, three kids by 18. All by one guy who beat me and used me for sex time after time. Tubes tied by 18, too fertile, the doctor said. Every birth control failed. The pill, the implant, but still a little girl and two little guys. Crime became the way to pay, if not a beating or worse. Had to supplement the income or be homeless or worse. A little girl, now a grown woman, developmentally delayed and still searching for a mommy that never really was. As she is human and subject to flaws, as am I, mother of three with imperfect mothering, grandmother of seven with improved understanding, loving and gentle parenting, and a reason to define. Every moment trying a positive movement, taking life issues for improvement and not excuses. How's that working for me? My past did not. Between seven and 28 years trying to please a mother expecting too much. The mother of disappointment is expectation and we realized as such. Lied to, abused into what I thought therapy was not. Told we were exaggerating, making crap up. She left me alone and speaking we did not. Been more than five years and it's not working for me. Can't control her behavior, her thoughts, only me. So thank you all for this time allowed to give honor and praise to this program called Resolana, which filled a void left from trauma, hurt, and pain. A lifetime of emptiness filled with love, care, therapy, creative arts, yoga, self-awareness, and false beliefs, changing my stinking thinking into hopeful reasoning. Safe family and place. Thank you, Sarah and Leslie, and interns as well, for seeing the best in me and creating a brand new. Nothing could go wrong. 
As time went on, I started to go, what's going on? Why is daddy starting to take so long? Now he's missing in action. Our family is becoming a fraction. They take turns yelling and screaming, walking away, starting to pack. I'm running behind, following to put it all back. How can I fix it? I'm too young to even know where to start. Is it me? Did I do something wrong? Mommy, please! Daddy can't go away! I'll clean my room! I'll do all you say! The time made them last, but there was still me. Never forgetting the past and how it broke my heart. Then one day, the son of my mommy's new best friend touched my no-no heart. Is it me? Did I do something wrong? But I couldn't tell mommy. No, I had to keep mommy from that hurt. I held it in for years, never understanding the tears. To escape it all, we moved to Texas. I was doing good and getting good grades despite leaving all my friends from kindergarten. Then came graduation, filling my emptiness with food. If I said hello to my first new boyfriend, but he raped me, he changed me, stole my morals and my mood. Is it me? Did I do something wrong? Now I'm snorting lines, getting drugged, raped and beaten, cheated on by every man. Am I down on my luck? Nah, at this point, I'm down for the ride. An empty reflection is all I see. Back out to the streets every time I try to stay clean. Even lower I go, disgracing this vessel of God. Can I be redeemed? When I'm doing things I could never even be imagining? But drugs take me. The pain is puffed snorted away, not even the love for my children could compete. Living day by day, keeping the my morals at bay, my memories, each time I call out for help, please God, help me, hear my call. But this time, can the law not be involved? But I saw those lights, and I'm behind these bars. Sentenced to Rezolana, saving my life. It wasn't me. Daddy's little girl did nothing wrong. She is brave, she is strong, and she is me.
this is my story, and all I want to say is other females in this situation, you're not alone, and you're not weak. Okay. My story is called Waiting. Close your eyes. Take a few breaths. Into the darkness. It's all dark. They sit when you look real close, you see a dim light in the You can open your eyes. To get to the light, I have to go through a lot of bad memories. Child molestation, being raped and left for dead, being beaten and threatened by someone I loved, drowning every pain and addiction, whether it was drugs or men. Through all the pain, my father was my superhero. Then bam, he dies. My superhero dies. I find him. Part of me dies with him. My heart breaks. I spiral into depression. I'm scared to be alone, not for what others will do, but what I'll do to myself. Suicide. The only hope I have for are my two sons, 10 and 12 years old. I won't send them to school because I'm afraid I will kill myself and they'll come home and find me dead. I don't send them to school for two weeks, and then I'm taken to court. They're taken from me. I feel my life is over. I'm all, I am allowed only visitation for one year. The next 13 years, I am in and out of relationships. If they started good, I messed them up and blamed the other person. It was easier. My heart became black. I was almost dead. I got so far down that I did a drug I was sure I would never do. Bam. I'm in jail for underground. I come in with my boyfriend. I got 10 days. He got four. Once again, I have to start over. But this time, it's a little different. My oldest son lets me in his life. He's married with two kids and a third on the way. His wife wants to meet me and have me meet my grandkids. I'm scared, but my happiness overrides it. I meet Alex three and Sophia one. Sophia stares at me like she knows. My my heart was dark, but there is still that light, the light in the corner. I see my grandson. He's asleep. He's asleep. A spitting image of my son. I sit next to him. He hears my voice. Wakes up, and the first thing he says is, Nana. Nana. I think I'm up. Where are you? My heart is touched. is lit with fire. Suddenly, I can see the little girl standing next to the cage of my suffering and addiction. She says, I've been waiting for you a long time to forgive yourself. Now, I am free.
I've learned through meditation a greater understanding of my true self. It's not necessarily one class, but it's a curriculum put in place. And the mandatory classes combined with meditation and yoga, it works like a machine together to ignite the healing in the participants that shows for itself and even the most extreme places like me. I got results by truly engaging with my spirituality and facing my trauma with honesty. And personal results, my personal results have been above average. I found healing physically and spiritually. I've learned to release many of my core beliefs that were negative and false and that didn't serve me. And my self-talk is changing as well. I choose to be present-minded, using positive affirmations and serving a higher power. I have found a new integrity and will continue to do my best ability to heal in the ways I've learned in this program. I'm a clear representation of Resolana and what it can do for those who are fortunate enough to have found its open arms. I am Resolana.
the beautiful sea I choose to be happy You and I, you and I We're like diamonds in the sky You're a shooting star I see A vision of 